it's about to get real meta. Knock, knock. Day three. Vlogmas. Making another good meal. You know, watch the premiere of yesterday's video tonight. So that's what I'm talking about being meta. I'm going to record a healthy meal. He's already finished making it. He's fast. And then we'll watch yesterday's video. Noodles made out of chickpeas. The bread's going to dad because I don't eat gluten. Butternut squash sauce with chicken. Smells good. Just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I know. I'm guilty. And what are we watching? The Exorcist Believer. The Exorcist Believer on Peacock. Peacock. And we'll give you a movie review. That's what Vlogmas Day 3 will be. A review after we have a dinner and a meal. Dinner and a meal. Movie. Dinner and a movie. And we'll give you our thoughts on The Exorcist. Well, you did have big eyes. Well, I just wanted to finish. <laughs> oh, my God. Leave me alone. I haven't had spaghetti in years. <laughs> thoughts it is so good <laughs> like I took one bite before I recorded but that's why I handed dad the thing because it's really good I'm making this all the time this is fantastic you don't like the sauce are you kidding me I mean, it's okay I, I, guess. I know and you're comparing it to traditional spaghetti if you're not expecting it but it's not even vastly different. I think this is fantastic. So, highly recommend. I'll do a comment below if you want a cooking video. Since we didn't get here soon enough to watch Dad. It is the meta moment. We are waiting for the premiere of Vlogmas Day 2. This is Future Nick from Vlogmas Day 3. Premiering it with Dad. Our dinner was delicious going to make that for sure again. That was fantastic. Very, I mean, yeah. He didn't like it, but I did. Oh, it was okay. <laughs> so, we're going to watch the premiere, then we're going to go get a little treat, because we're naughty. <laughs> Isn't this tiny camera pretty good quality? Very good. For being in the corner of the room like that. Yeah, excellent. Very nice. Of course, it's Vlogmas. Go watch day two. Taking a break from the movie. We just finished my YouTube premiere. Hopefully it's not too dark out here. We have a big street light. So, uh, it's dessert time. One of these rare occasions, very rare. We never, ever get treats, ever, do we? Never. That's all. That's the chili pie. This is my favorite guy at Dairy Queen. He's always very friendly. And, if, and he's the most, one of the most competent. There's been a couple times I've been here and they've either forgot a sauce or forgot even a chicken strip one time, but never when he's working. 1925. How much? 13. 13. Two ice creams, $13 or something. I should have helped you do it on your phone so you can get points. That's how you get the deals. Here you go. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. All right, right on. I'll hold it. You make me content. It's too dark. Way too dark. Sony, improve your low light in your action camera that you'll never make again. <laughs> okay, we got the saving light. Bruno's getting his treat, being a good boy. He hasn't run off in a few days now. <laughs> Chasing cats. So, he gets a treat. So does Papa. Commence the movie. What'd you get? Peanut Buster Parfait. Classic. Yes. Where before you went on your trip? Do you remember that? <laughs> so if that's what you get. Well, that's fine. <laughs> so, so, where's my hat? Is it over there? It's okay, you're fine. <laughs> Hola, Rosalinda. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. <laughs> que bueno. Pues no hablo en español. ¿Y usted? Bien, bien, gracias. We just finished Exorcist Believer. What did you think? Was it as good as the original? No, I want to say it was. Uh... <laughs> It had its moments. Um, I did like what they did at the end. We'll get into that, but how, how do you feel like it, how it started? Spoiler alert, alert on all of this, by the way. I'll probably cut that in between before. It started out with this earthquake, this pregnant couple. Um, he had to choose to save his wife or his daughter, his unborn daughter. And uh, then it kind of flash forwards to years later. But anyway. It was okay. It was a little scary. What part scared you the most? Oh, just their contortions of their face and the ugliness that they made them look and Know what part scared me the most? The snake. <laughs> yeah, when he stepped on the step and the what and the thing broke and there's a snake that came out from under the step. That was pretty scary. Um it was kind of a cool concept at the end to make him choose between either Catherine or Angela, which were the girls that got possessed after they mysteriously walked into the woods and went missing for three days. And they said they only felt like they were gone for three hours, but then they started like getting all crazy, all exorcist style. Um, the one lady that, you know, but the lady that started stabbing her eyes out, there were scenes with her that felt a little phony in my, my opinion. She didn't stab her eyes out. The girl did it. Oh, yeah, eyes. whatever. <laughs> Same, th yeah, the one that went blind anyway. When she was giving her whole speech, <coughs> I just... It fell a little stale on that part. But then it got better. Um, I don't know. How many Exorcist movies has there been, though? I don't know. The only two I've liked was the original and The Exorcism of Emily Rose can't remember what year that came out because uh, I was still in high school I think when that one came out and that one was scary too I thought that was a good remake or revisit of that story but I don't know I feel like so many people try to 
just use the name of the exorcist now to create us spooky but it's it's missing the essence of the original so that's my critic my my critique how many apples would you give it oh i'd give it a five out of ten five apples just five out of ten i guess very average yeah yeah Sure, five or six. I mean, the cinematography and stuff, but they, they did all right. Like light and there was, there was, I mean, it wasn't a total crap movie. It was just a story and the acting, directing, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It was just an average, an average scary exorcist type movie. Yeah, usually they start making part. Two, three, four, five. You know, usually the original is always the best, but yeah, it was a worth a watch, I guess. Thanks for watching. This has been Vlogmas, not Dogmas, but Vlogmas. Like this video, subscribe, go watch. I don't know what corner it's gonna appear on. Watch the next one, or the previous ones. Happy Holidays. <laughs>